All right, guys, this week we're talking about bones. We're talking about our skeleton. And a lot of people think that your skeleton's pretty boring. And with this first little lecture, we're just going to dismantle that idea. This right here, this right here is called a baculum. Human beings are one of the few uh, mammals that don't have one of these. This is a raccoon's baculum. That is a penis bone of a raccoon. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. A lot. Most mammals have these. Horses also don't have these, but most other mammals do. Humans and horses, we're missing out. We don't have a baculum. This right here, it's made out of the same stuff as our bones. Well, pretty much the same stuff. It's made out of calcium. This is a brain coral. And tiny little cnidarians, little sea creatures, live inside this skeleton to protect them. Our skeleton's not outside of us, it's inside of us. But it also helps protect us. So let's just hit, get into this with a banger. At the end of the day, no matter how tall, you, well, actually, yeah, your height does matter when it comes to your bones. It kind of defines your height. But no matter your skin color, your political beliefs, um, I don't know what country you're from, whether or not you like to play pinochle, doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we're all the spooky bones on the inside. And you're going to see that bones are actually pretty spooky by the end of this. What just happened? Zooming, I'm zooming ahead. I'm blowing my punch lines here. All right, well, let's just... I mean, we're all just spooky bones on the inside. Everybody's got a skeleton, hopefully. If you don't have a skeleton, this is what you'd be like. Got a little video here. There's an octopus on land. That's what it would be like without a skeleton. That's it's a big crazy. one. Yeah, we could slither around. Ooh. Fall on our freaking face a bunch. Didn't I like you like that? That doesn't seem great though. Just gonna so we get to erect ourselves. Okay. And, and, and look up above. Ooh, the gone. ground and not have to smash our faces into the ground constantly. Here's another little interesting idea. Move that over there. Here's a little interesting idea. You are bones infested by cells. The same way Earth is infested by humans. So your bones are kind of like a little earth for your cells to live on. Without your bones, you'd just be a mass of cells like that octopus slapping your face into rocks. And you probably, we probably wouldn't be able to hunt very good. I mean, look, what could you do? Like an octopus is pretty incapable of doing a lot on land. They can get around a little bit, but... They ain't gonna solve a lot of problems out on land. I don't know if you, I just recently watched Dory, and I think his name is Hank. What well, well, just wasn't scientifically accurate because he'd have been smushed around on the ground a lot. I mean, they can get around and slither around anyway, but he certainly weren't gonna solve all them dang problems. Um, all right, let's just keep the spooky train going. All right, well, we evolved from fish, so fish must have contained bones, right? And I, I like to think of human beings, like especially if you look at the profile of a human being, it looks very fish-like. Uh, humans are just oily fish that walk the land. That's what we are. So we've got a couple of different little types of fish. We've got ray finned fish over here. And then we've got these fish, which are actually lobe fin fish, and that's describing the bone structure of their fins. But we have, they all have vertebrae, they all have a backbone, and we have a backbone. We came from fish, 
according to evolution, according to understanding biology in its fundamental terms. Um, and, you know, at some point, these lobe fin fish, which have very muscular kind of fins with big stubby bones in them, they crawled up onto land. They became something called a tetrapod, uh, tiktaalik. Tiktok is rotting your brain. Go back to your roots and understand tiktaalik, where you came from. This lobe finned fish became a tetrapod, and then that became all living creatures on land. Pretty crazy. I mean, this thing that I'm doing right now, I'm flapping at you with my lips. Wouldn't it be possible without bones? Moving my jaw, I've got my hyoid bone here moving up and down. My tongue is connected to it as I'm speaking to you. Where did the mouth come from? Well, it came from our fish-like descendant. Uh, so fish have something called gills and they use that to breathe. And I'll talk about gills again when we get to the respiratory system. Your jaw is a modified gill bone. So you can see these gill bones here over time came around and became little pinchers through this slow process of evolution. Uh, so bones are dynamic not only through time, but also through um, your own life, your own lifetime. Bones are dynamic. All right, so what is the point of our skeleton? I've already kind of gotten it. Oh, well, the thing I like about this, this is, this is my punchline. I didn't even freaking remember to do my own dang punchline. If you ever get mad at somebody, you can be like, boy, you make me want to punch you in your gill bone. And be like, what? What are you talking about? I ain't got gills. I ain't a fish. And you'd be like, double whammo. First of all, you are a fish. Second of all, your jaw is a gill bone, bro. Like, get with it. Be on my time scale. I'm on the freaking epoch time scale brother you're in the freaking tiktok mindset slap some knowledge on some people before you slap them you know what i'm saying just confuse them a little bit with your with your brain meat the power of your brain meat all right so what is the function of your spooky bones what is the function of your spooky bones well first of all it's to distinguish you from an octopus i'm sure you guys can probably guess this Gives you freaking structure. Gives your body structure, aka support, protection, right? I got a sternum right there. I can punch myself in the chest and it ain't that big of a deal because I got a rib cage and I got a sternum. And my little soft tissue organs under there are protected because of it. Allows us to move. Move. We could move without it. If you removed all of our bones, we still could move a little bit with our muscles and things. And cells can move without bones, but wouldn't it be as uh, efficient? And um, stores minerals. So it stores our calcium and our phosphate. Stores minerals and stores calcium. Oh, sorry. Stores minerals such as calcium and phosphate pretty nifty and then this one's pretty crazy people don't know this one blood formation your blood is formed in your bones that's pretty cool that is pretty cool indeed blood formation and i got a little picture here i'm not going to draw this out i just don't want to i don't want to take up too much time uh yeah, let's see how this works. Yeah. Boom. You know, and, and you know, just look at this. So inside your bones, you got something called marrow, which is like a fatty uh, tissue, and it contains something called stem cells. And those cells in this red marrow where we make our blood cells and we can make all of our blood cells including our red blood cells and all of our white blood cells neutrophils monocytes eosinophils basophils the list goes on megakaryocytes to make platelets all this and more is made in your bones so your blood and your bones are weirdly connected in that sense 
It's also, this is also crazy to think about. I mean, we all started off with a skeleton that was even smaller than this. Look at that thing. And then our skeleton is now this. What? We think of bones as this. Static. What? This is, this is boring. Boring. I'm going to throw that penis bone on the floor. I don't care about it. It's boring. It doesn't do anything. Wrong. And we're going to talk about that little that little tidbit right here. Bones are extremely dynamic. Extremely dynamic. And we're just going to kind of give a real basic overview of this. All right, so I got my bone here. Boom. That's my little bone. All right. All right. Got this other kind of this this kind of beautiful uh, little bone cell living with inside of it, and we looked at these a little bit. Oop, I don't want that to be real thick like that. We looked at these a little bit under the microscope. Uh, we didn't look at necessarily the cells, but we kind of saw their their kind of octopus-like nature. Strange, crazy how we got little tiny octopuses living inside of our skeleton. But octopuses don't have bones. Pretty crazy. This little thing is called an osteocyte. And we'll come back to these. These are like your mature bone cells. Mature. Mature. Mature bone cells. All right. Well, we've got another kind of bone cell and how do I want to do this I think I'll do it I think I'll just kind of redraw this guy all right so sometimes you know what is this stuff made out of let me let me do this this stuff right here whoops this is made out of calcium it's calcium phosphate calcium Phosphate crystals, pretty cool. All right, and you know, this gets older, or we need to grow, for example. All right, we got this tiny skeleton, we need a big skeleton. All right, well, what happens? We got this guy coming through. Boom, boom, boom. We got this big boy coming through. And what is he good? What is he gonna do? This right here? This is an osteo, osteoclast. An osteoclast, the way I remember this, is they have this C right here. Oh, I want to highlight that C. The cancel bone. The cancel bone. This bone is racist to them, so they cancel it. The cancel bone. Another fancy word for that. Is they res resorb, 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 resorption, resorb bone. Or bone, they, they perform bone resorption. They resorb bone. Okay? So what they do is they convert this, you know, this is all like a little calcium phosphate matrix. Boom. They kind of convert that matrix, they break it down, this little crystal. They chew it up. Get rid of that bad boy. Boom. And so now we got this calcium coming out here, like so. And what we will actually then have Don't want to erase it. We will have boom. This bone will get eaten away. And maybe it really goes for it and it really eats away a big old chunk of this bone. Something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I ate a big old hunk of that bone. Okay. And it can put put calcium into the matrix slash blood supply so if you're low on calcium in your blood in your cells 
You need it for lots of other things in your cells. Boom! We can resorb some of our bone to dump calcium into our system. All right, so this would be, you know, from here to here. All right. Now what can happen? We'll recopy this bad boy. Put her over there. We could have a bunch of other little cells come in here. And these guys have kind of a tricky little name to me. Osteoclast and osteoblast, they got a tricky little names. Because they, they don't seem intuitive to me. So what these guys do is they take calcium from out here in the blood in the matrix. And you could probably guess what they do. They deposit it here. Whoop. Down here. And they build this bone up. So now we're going to have new bone forming. And I'm going to kind of draw this thicker. Like so. And then maybe we'll do that a lighter color, actually. And then maybe I'll do this in a highlighter. Oh yeah, that seems that seems like exactly what I want. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. Boom. And they, so these are osteo osteo blasts. And the way I remember this. Is this B here? Oops. Stands for build bone. Okay. Osteoblasts build bone. And then over time, what will happen is we will have this fresh bone be remineralized re re with all of its calcium and its phosphate, um, like so. Pretty crazy. So this would be bone, bone resorption, resorption, not resorptions, resorption, bone deposition. And then this would be bone maturation. Maturation. Pretty cool. Alright, didn't draw this super clear, but you hopefully are getting it. Okay? So it's this kind of dynamic, and then I'll, we'll explain what these guys do later. But this dynamic process here is pretty crazy. It allows us to grow and change our bone shape, size, length, all that. And what's really crazy is about about every seven to ten years, you are completely replacing your every atom, essentially, your entire skeleton. And that's the slowest part of your body. It's not even part of your cells. You're replacing your entire, all the calcium, all the phosphate, all of that stuff from your skeleton being completely replaced every seven to ten years which means that I've had at least four probably more probably like five I've probably had like five skeletons four or five skeletons that's pretty crazy that's really actually kind of bananas to me not a single piece of my bone has been the same since I've been born and yet I'm still me how exactly does that work? That's going to be kind of the topic of our discussion post. Um, we're going to end it there on this one. Your bones are dynamic little critters. They're infested with cells themselves. And then all of your cells live on those bones. Your blood comes from those bones. Wild stuff. Wild stuff, indeed. And... Yeah. That's right. It's a little bit spooky. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.